Hi folks, so we're talking about the CIA triad. The CIA triad is a really important concept in cybersecurity. In fact, some people would go as far as to say that it is the entire point of cybersecurity. And we're obviously not talking about this kind of CIA. What we're talking about is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And so cybersecurity is often described as having these three main goals. There are others, it doesn't capture everything to be honest, there are things like authentication, repudiation, and some other goals that are security goals, but this does capture the vast majority of security goals that uh, an organization will have. Uh, and as part of a wider picture, so there are various other components in terms of the way that you're achieving these things, and the processes, and um, products and people or that, you, that you actually have to have in, in place in order to achieve the security. So confidentiality is about who can see or read information. So you've got some, um, some important information, for example, and you want to make sure that it can only be accessed by people that are actually authorized to access it. Uh, and, you know, when people talk about the need to know, uh, it's an example of, you know, thinking about confidentiality. So you should only be given access to something if you actually need access to it or to be able to see it. Um, and the military has a long history of having confidentiality as a primary goal. So, for example, if something's classified as top secret, then someone that only has secret clearance shouldn't be allowed to read the top secret uh, data, for example. Another example is uh, any business that, uh, any organization that does business in the EU is required by GDPR regulations to uh, protect the confidentiality of people's private information. Um, and so there should be protections in place. And there are fines if you are not adequately protecting um, things. So integrity is all about whether the data that you have is accurate. So it has, is it only able to be modified by people that actually need permission or have permission to modify it? So, for example, if you are a bank, then it's bad if people can read each other's balances, but it is, you know, the worst case scenario if, if someone can change bank balances. So, you know, integrity is really the highest possible priority there. And a lot of organizations actually in the real world have integrity as their highest goal uh, because, you know, it is um, particularly bad if, you know, you lose things like sales or your, um, you know, your information is corrupted or, or destroyed or modified in, in unauthorized ways. And, you know, an example of that is, you know, you see a bulletin board with a locked screen. Integrity isn't about who can read the information, it's about who can get in there and change those notices. Availability is the, um, the third part of that triad, and that's about whether or not people can actually access things. So are the services available? Are they usable? Um, do, are they responding quickly enough in order for people to access them, or they authorize people to get access to them? Um, and for example, if someone can take down our server so that no one can access it, then you know that's bad and our goal is to be available. And examples of organizations that would have that as one of their highest priorities is, is some kind of like web service. For example, Google's front page in terms of the searches, their main goal there is to make sure that it stays available all the time. If Google's front page goes down, then that is, you know, terrible for, for Google. Um, and obviously not all of Google's services would have availability as the highest priority, but you know, that is a good example of one that would. So there are, you know, all these different security goals that people have and um, you know, the, whether it's about protecting who can access something, uh, protecting who can change it, or just making sure that the services are, remain available. Um, and then it's about balancing, finding that right balance 
because an organization will have goals across those. So for example, you know, the banking example I gave earlier, they don't not have confidentiality requirements. They have those as well. Um, but when they're designing their security, if they know that integrity is their highest priority, then you know, that helps in their thinking and the designing of the security um, that they put in place. Sometimes these um, goals can conflict. So for example, availability. So when something fails, do you want it to fail like so that it is no longer available? Um, and you know, getting that balance correct so that you're letting people that are allowed to access it so they can access it, but also making sure that other people can't access it and just getting that balance right. So that is the CIA triad.